is what is up what do you guys this is me and i'm back with another b-i-d-e-o video b-i-d-e-o video b-i-d-e-o it's a video it's a video brought to you by your girl and i'm back and this is part two of my kfc experience and why i left okay so before we get into this video pray of course okay so basically this is what it was I don't like it looking too big. So basically, this is exactly what it was and what it wasn't. So this is when I uh, gave off my two weeks notice. Like the plan was to work my last day because I would have been off the rest of that week if I am on the last week. And so I ended up not working that day because... I got sick because I was going to miss school, but then I was just like, nah, I want to go to school. I want to go to school. And then, you know, like you go to school, sometimes you go to school and your sickness be over. But okay. But no, that's, that's not what happened. I just ended up going to school because I just don't like missing school. I told my mom to call the people because like I was that sick that morning and she called the people, told them that I would have to miss work that day. And they talking about some, I need an excuse. What? And I had never heard of that before. Like, I need a doctor's excuse. It was being snobby with my mama too. So I'm just like, okay, <laughs> whatever. Either it was the day that I didn't go to school or the next day when I did go to school. I can't remember. I know it was a Wednesday and I usually had got my checks on Thursday. So I'm pretty sure it was Thursday. After school, I had went to KFC to go get my check. My mom parked par par in the front so she could go in and get my check. And they told her that they wouldn't give her my check, that they can give her my check. And so I'm like, what? Because the lady that works there you know she's nice to us this that and the third and so she went to the back turns out twiddly d twiddly dumb looking at the back these managers looking at the back and they talking about how i don't know what they whispering for or whatever because i that's what she told me that they was doing talking about something they was whispering to the back and basically made the nice lady do the dirty work and say that she couldn't give her my check so she is he did at this point and she done told she done told the people that i'm <laughs> she done told these people i'm contagious mind you i'm in the car on my phone like this like i'm not even sick no more but i don't feel as well as i should like i'm not up and so she done told these people i'm contagious mind you she said some man was in there and was laughing at the fact that she was getting mad and as soon as she said i was contagious he walked out the door and so i'm just like no you didn't like i had never seen my mama this mad so boom i see her storm out and i'm on my phone i'm just like what the world did i need to this one and so she's like get out of the car just 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 get out of the car come on i keep trying to tell these people that you sick and they're not listening to me so i done got out of the car and so I got my hand, <laughs> I got my arm in my shirt. I got one arm in my shirt and I'm just working like, I'm like so, 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 so sick. Like I got the flu or something. And I done walked in the door. And so I'm just like, hey, you know, to the people in the front. And so the, and so the people in the back, um, they still chatting, they still talking. And so she's talking some, see, you see it now? You see it now? This girl is failing classes and all this stuff before this job. I don't know why she told them people I was failing, but she went ham. And so, like, I wasn't failing my classes, okay? Math was never my strong suit anyway. So I was slipping. But anyways, and <laughs> I can't even remember what all happened. Like, I remember when it happened, I had to tell somebody. I told, I told uh, Shamaya when it happened. I was like, bruh. This lady did this. She did that. Like she told them this. Like you would not believe y'all mama. And they see me, and the woman that I said spotted me out to get the job. She was like, 
Oh, poor baby. There she go. And so she done came out and gave me and um gave me handed me my check and gave me a hug. Talking about some my bookie sick and all this other stuff. And my mama was did not like that. She was like, like she was mad. She was heated. And I'm just like, mama, it's 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 okay. And I forgot what all she said, but she said she she said a lot. She said a lot. She was loud and it was crazy. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was really crazy. But the thing was, I was ready for whatever. Cause I'm not even playing. I don't, I don't play about my mama. So if one of them wanted to get slick, I would have put my arm right out that shirt and would have got the slamming. Cause what is you talking about? Like, I don't, adult or not, you're not about to come for my mama. Are you dumb, stupid, or both? Shoot, I was, I was only 17, about to be 18. It wasn't gonna be nothing for me. As soon as we got in the car, we, we about to pull off and tell me why the hiring manager runs out with his headset. Mind you, the hiring manager is a little short and he walk a little wobbly. And shout out to him, no doubt, my dog. And um, he runs out with his headset to stop us in the car. It's like, what happened? What all happened? What all happened? And so she's like, this baby, this job, this nighttime, I have response. Like my circumstances are different. So the way that we have to maneuver is understandable. Like other people don't, like I'm not gonna explain it on here cause it is what it is. And so there are people that we have to take care of and stuff so that's that, that's basically one of the reasons and so he was like yeah i understand i understand i understand well if she ever want to come back she can the seven thirty, you know he you know he was real real cool on it i had got my last check like i had received my last check probably a month or two prior to me leaving like i had already got my last check which was 400 something and but that's another thing about KFC. They paid good. They paid very well. Like, honestly. In my city, I don't know about nobody else, but my first check, my, my very first check was $27, of course, like I was on orientation. And then my second check was $300. And then my and then my fourth and then my fourth check started being my fourth check, my fifth check started being four hundred something dollars. Like almost five hundred dollars. So Hey, it was it was cool, and it's crazy because a lot of people wouldn't know that. Like for for, I was surprised. I was like, really? Just for KFC? And I was on minimum wage, so I was like, hmm, hmm. But understand this: when I got my job, I was like, I have to save some type of portion of my money. I just have to, I have to save it because I knew for a fact I was going into senior year and I knew things had to be paid for. So on to the saving part, y'all, it's important for y'all to save. If you get a check, whether it's by government, whether it's just from um, passive income, make sure that you save some, make sure that you save at least 20%. Like honestly, I used to take $20 out of my check 20 well no, no no out of my first check i took i think i took 20 dollars out of my first check if not 20 I, I took 40 dollars out of my check but all i know is by the time i was ready to pay off my um senior package baby i have baby i had half the money so i was good like i just needed a little bit more like it wasn't nothing and i was happy that i saved that money because i was like wow this really came in handy so yes y'all little small story time nothing really too crazy but that's that's basically what it was <sighs> and i have not been back there since now as far as like eating and stuff i will never eat from kfc again well i was working there before i worked there i used to eat everything that 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 she brought home after working there, I just can't do it. You know, I don't know if y'all are the same way. Like, oh, after you work someplace, you just you just can't eat their food. I can't. I deliberately I cannot eat KFC food. I used to chomp on chicken 
uh, Littles before and I knew how good they were. So when I got the job, I was like, free Chicken Littles, I ain't gotta pay. Like literally, I would go home off of a Chicken Little. Like for real. I would eat one or two Chicken Littles at work and be good for the rest of the night. And then as far as bringing um, something home, of course, you know, I get the discount or whatever. So my mom used to come and she used to get the discount or whatever. And that would be cool. But shoot, if they was having it, I wouldn't eat it. I was not eating it. And it's not like, oh, they do anything to the food. I just know how they make it. You know what I'm saying? And as far as making it, there ain't really nothing to it. Like, how do you mess up mashed potatoes? You can mess up mashed potatoes. Like, I remember she used to come home with mashed potatoes and I'd be like, I know exactly who made these. I know exactly who made these because either either they didn't put enough potato mix in it or they put less potatoes and they taste soupy or they didn't put enough water in the gravy and, and um, it tastes, you know, thick. So I used to know exactly who made what when she brought it home. But yeah, I have nothing against them. I still eat from there as far as like their chicken littles and their um, fillets and their fries since they changed their fries. But that's pretty much it. As far as any type of other foods, I just wouldn't eat it because that's just, that's just how my mind was made. I didn't like, I never really cared about their food before, but I would eat it. And as far as their chicken, I like their grilled chicken. I think they got some good grilled chicken. Y'all be sleeping on that grilled chicken. And I told her to start getting some. If she gets some, I'll eat it from there. For real, for real. Like, it's, it's a lot of things that I would eat from KFC. But as far as meals and stuff like that, you get a meal, baby girl, I'm not eating it. I'm sorry. I don't care where it's from. My body just won't take it. But yeah, yeah. That was my um, KFC experience nothing really ever like too crazy nothing like that i still remember like the morning routine the night routine stuff like that the people that was there and the things that went on so yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video i know for a fact i left something out i feel like i did i feel like i left something out oh um, one of the managers like tried to keep in touch with me, not even after I left, but before I left, like I needed the schedule. I remember it was like my first day. So he was like, I just wanted to send it to you to get your number. Like literally that's exactly what he said. And so I remember me and my cousin, and I know she remember this because she came down before she um, got military ready. And me and my cousin, they had surprised me while I was at work cause I was getting ready to get off. And so when she came in the door, she talking about something, he was staring at me. And so I'm just like, I already know who you're talking about. And so she, he seen me leave with them. Tell me why this man tried to call me. Like, I remember I was at home with my cousin. And so he was calling me. And I'm just like, what the world? Are you, are you dumb? I said, why did you call me? Something. I just wanted to talk to you. Talk to your wife. What are you doing? Like, I and I, I told my cousin, I told my friends, I told dude that was working with me. I said, look, this ain't no lifetime movie, and I'm not going for none of that. And I didn't play. So I blocked him, especially, and he tried to like contact me after I left. Someone like, some hey, ain't like no. 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 Like, we used to joke with him and stuff like that, but mm -mm, it, I, was, I, would, I was never on that. Trust me, believe that. I was never on that. And he was good looking too, no cap. He was. But I was never on that. Like, you a grown man, you got kids, and you. Like, I remember when he came in with his wife and children, and I was working that day. And so, and so I had never seen him out, out of his, we had never seen him out, well, I had never seen him out of his, his uniform. I don't remember the girl that I worked did, worked with. She was like, girl, did you see his muscles? And all this other stuff. And I'm just like, child. And so I remember he was making eye contact with me while I was working. And I'm just like, hey. And it was a Sunday, too. But yeah, y'all, and and it wasn't nothing to it. Like he was, he was respectful. They they all was res respectful when it came to me. Now, as far as my mama, <laughs> Damien, should I do it? 
just know that there was this man that was working with me at the time. He was funny. He was real respectable. Like, like he understood everything that went on or whatnot. And it was a mishap that happened, and he ended up getting. I think he ended up getting fired. And so he tried. He he, he was trying to get with my mom. He was trying to get with my mom. And I'm just like, Lord Jesus. Used to be at the car talking to her when I um was getting out. Talking about some, you know, she waiting on you. And I'm just like, how you know she waiting on me if you like, uh huh, and stuff like that. And then that was this fine boy that worked there. He was like 25. <laughs> he was really really cute though. And he was, he was fun to work with. Like, y'all know who I'm talking about. If he still worked there, then he still worked there. But yeah. Even this shit crying. Mm. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on my post notifications, whatever y'all do know what I post. Click that bell. Another day, another dollar of life to the very fullest. Have a wonderful and marvelous new year. Y'all already know 2021 will be going up. Nothing is stopping us. I'm telling y'all, I'm on a roll. Stop playing with me, bro. Y'all better get on the train and get left. I mean, you can come later, but you're going to be lost in the south. You feel me? But yeah, y'all, I love y'all. Have a wonderful and marvelous blessed week. We out of here.